problem, man. Real Talk TV. Yeah, I mean, it's the best way to be. You know where else to be. What's going on with that like whole mace situation? You know, I heard y'all been throwing a lot of lyrical jabs at each other. Basically, mace is like doing what niggas do. You know what I'm saying? Niggas get around tough niggas and feel they got to be tough. Or niggas get around fly niggas feel they got to be fly. You know what I'm saying? That's basically, you know, what Mace is caught up in right now. He's confused. He thinks the niggas he with is tough. So he needs to be tough. When Mace murder was just an ego or an image that Harlem accepted on a lyrical basis. Son ain't murdered a motherfucking thing but a beat. His whole life. He just started cursing probably by 99. On everything. Nigga mother's a God-fed woman, you know what I'm saying? Dude was born in Jacksonville, Florida, man. Nigga moved here when he was about five, six years old, man. I can tell you niggas pedigree. Him, Cam, all of them niggas had hoop dreams. Niggas was not on the block doing none of this shit no one did. None of this shit no one did. But at the end of the day, how do you convince a nigga way out in Swamp Fox, Idaho, or Sheep Dick, Nebraska, that these niggas ain't those niggas? That is a pointless effort trying to convince people that has already, you know what I'm saying, endured their bullshit and inherited and, and, and became a fan of it. But at the end of the day, dude is just really confused. He don't know what the fuck he's doing. Then again, he might I think he know what he's doing. But at the end of the day, it's like, man, I'm not going to play tennis with this nigga but for so long. You know what I'm saying? It's just a matter of time before I just put out that one record. It just assassinates everything the dude stand for. And then it's just a matter of time before I bump into this nigga in the flesh and knock half his motherfucking teeth out of his mouth. And then the shit would be solidified. It would be justified. And at that point, niggas can get off my dick with that May shit. Because I've been ridiculed and shadowed by this man named my whole fucking career. You understand? My whole fucking career. The five year niggas was going, you corny ass niggas out there miss this nigga. Go find him. Don't keep trying to say loon sound like me, so like loon this and loon that. You niggas got to stop trying to identify niggas with other niggas you know or whatever the case may be. Everybody's an individual. Unless some of these niggas out here do blatantly be trying to be other niggas. That ain't never been my cup of tea. That ain't nothing I ever had to do to establish no street credibility. Nothing. I walk these streets any hour of the night I want. I've done malicious shit to niggas out here. I'm an eighth grade dropout. I'm a predicate felon. Stab and stab niggas. You know what I'm saying? Goes on and on and on and on and on. But at the end of the day, y'all niggas got to get y'all shit together. Y'all got to start doing a lot more homework before y'all start crowning these niggas. Because everybody quit to crown a nigga. As soon as a nigga tell you no, or don't want to buy you a bag of smoke or something like that, now you don't want them to be the king no more. Y'all niggas gotta get y'all shit together. It's not me, baby. I'm cool in my skin. You know what I'm saying? Fuck Mace. Mace is not, he's relevant to what's really going on out here. You know what I'm saying? K Cam, Harlem World, I mean, Harlem Dip, Sad Dip, Mass, whatever the niggas wanna label themselves. Cause I know that Cam initially started that as his crew. That was his initial crew. Jim Jones might have took his shit and flipped it and turned it to some whole other gang banging bullshit. That wasn't what the Harlem Diplomats was about. And with Cam, if you get a whiff of this, you need to let that be known. And stop letting this nigga run around and tarnish what you built. The dude was your fucking hype man. And I don't have nothing against him neither, but enough is a fucking enough, man. You niggas is clowns, man. You niggas is fucking clowns. And y'all got niggas looking at me sideways while niggas is looking at y'all niggas like y'all niggas stand for something. The fuck out of here, man. You niggas is sweet, man. I said it, man. Y'all niggas is sweet. When y'all niggas get a whiff of this shit, man, call me, man. Find me. Look for me, man. I ain't been nowhere but where I been. You know what I'm saying? Y'all keep dressing up y'all little homeboys and shit, man. There's real niggas out here from the town. Put them niggas on. They can't rap, write them a fucking rhyme. Stop letting these little niggas y'all dressing up to come run up on y'all with these little nasty 16s or whatever the case may be. Fuck that shit. That's why other states is beating us, y'all. The niggas is coming with it, man. Whether it's crunk, R&B, whatever the fuck it is. Niggas is coming with it, man. Y'all niggas is lost, man. For real. 
So I'm just here to tell all, man. Be on the lookout for the... It be perceived as a new loom to y'all niggas, but it's really the old loom. If you niggas had any fucking sense, like loom is not a name that you just extract out of a GQ magazine or Cosmopolitan or some type of, you know what I'm saying, shit that just glorifies fly, fashion, or whatever the case may be. Loom is short for loony. Loom, I got that name in LA, 89. My man's Phil Gangster Crip. Started banging before you niggas in New York even thought about banging. Before you niggas even thought about putting a rag in your pocket or even trying to embrace the culture that come with gang banging. It's a lifestyle. Actually, it's a death style. It's not even a lifestyle. It's a death style. A lot of you niggas ain't ready to die. I know the average blood nigga out here get approached by 20 real quips. You're going to try to hide your fucking flag, turn your hat back, or do some fix-up shit real quick. When you, you know what I'm saying, approached by a real situation. And vice versa. You New York niggas out here think y'all crips. I get approached by a real blood nigga all of a sudden. You want to turn your hat to the right now. and the, Whatever the case may be. Niggas is frauds with that shit. Stick to the culture that New York has. We the mecca of this shit, yo. When I came here from L.A., when I moved to L.A. and moved back, regardless, you know what I'm saying, I never thought to dress any of you niggas like Easy e I never thought to tell you niggas to wear khakis. I never taught nobody in New York to crip wall or throw up no gang signs. It's irrelevant. It serves no purpose here. I come here, I'm trying to get my swag on. I'm trying to meet me a bad bitch. Go to a club, do the things that New Yorkers do. When I go to L.A., it's a whole different lifestyle. I might wear white tee, just a G-Shot. Who knows who I'm going to confront. Why? You know what I'm saying? Intensify the situation by putting bright ass medals and shit all on your chest for a nigga to drive by and smoke your ass to jump out and try to jack you. That's LA. Ain't no bosses. Niggas in New York get reputations off a nigga they killed 10 years ago. LA is like, who have you killed lately? You know what I'm saying? It's a big difference, man. So niggas need to do what they do best and let other niggas do what they do, man, and just leave all that bullshit alone, man. What's basically a new situation? Yeah, I mean, it's my situation, it ain't, you know what I'm saying, it's a situation I created for myself, you know what I'm saying, it's like, I dealt with probably every major record company in the business, you know what I'm saying, I was signed, Clyde Davis, Arista, L.A. Reid, me and Mace, you know what I'm saying, joined forces to do the so-so death joint with Jermaine Dupri, you know what I'm saying, I dealt with Puff, so I'm pretty much, you know what I'm saying, more than a seasoned nigga, like, I think God put me in all those situations in order for me to do this boss up thing and really like, you know what I'm saying, shine over all. So when people, you know what I'm saying, notice a nigga ain't been around, you know what I'm saying, you know how they say, out of sight, out of mind. But that's cool for me, you know, maybe I need to be off the radar for a minute. Maybe I need a nigga to forget all about the girly shit or all the songs I did before. You know what I'm saying? It kind of like saturated my real true being and the real person I am and how I conduct myself. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's funny how image can place you in so many, you know what I'm saying, different realms, different situations. Like since I've done I Need a Girl and all that, I managed to catch two assault charges, one attempt murder, and a kidnapping charge. All that shit coming from niggas misreading me, thinking they know me.